Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more God of War Ascension. What do we got here? We got a nice little shiny floor and... A statue that's in the process of being built by those one dudes that get the spears through the face from or uh, <laughs> that prophet dude. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Orcos or something? No, Orcos is the, Orcos is the other dude. Uh, Orc oh. Orcos is the dude with the, the rocks blowing on him. One of the other statues just came alive, Raymond. Yeah, sometimes you get these statues that are assholes that come alive like that, uh, and then they suck. Really. Oh, uh, yeah, they do that move. You don't want to dodge roll like I'm going to do for half of this battle. You want to run. It's easier to dodge them if you run. If you if you dodge roll, you can like get, you can miss the last one, but you're gonna get hit by the first two hits pretty much every time if you dodge roll. So just run from them and you're gonna be okay. And you see he's glowing. You see how that, how that guy was like glowing, and the other guy isn't glowing? Cause yeah, of course one guy isn't bad enough. They're gonna send two of them after you. <laughs> When they're glowing, you can't do any damage to them at all, and so it's a good idea to focus on the other statue okay. when, the, when one of them is glowing. And that's a good strategy to employ. I won't employ that strategy until <laughs> a few videos later down the line. Because you gotta, but... <laughs> you gotta learn your way. That's right, you know. This is as much of a walkthrough as it is a let's play sometimes. <laughs> I'm good enough at the game where I know what... You know, we know what I'm doing for the most part. So now they're invincible right both now. Both of them are right now, yes. Okay. And they're doing, he did like the harpy attack where he oh, jumps geez. up and slams down. But uh, no big deal. Just keep he thinks he's on. Thor, I think. I think on. so. Well, they do have giant hammers that do a lot of damage, so. And they're like, they're flying up and then flying down with the hammer. That's grenade. right. Haha, <laughs> it will smite you. <laughs> Don't smite me, hammer guys. Well, you're Kratos, so Christ. you can't be smited very easily. I don't True, think. I have like infinite respawns, <laughs> and they don't. So, talk on that. Now, I'm not sure what. Now, these guys are obviously a fire element. I'm not. Again, I'm not. Still not entirely sure what element works best against the other ones. But you know, I would make a guess that ice would work against these guys more than fire. In my opinion. So, using my uh, fire magic spell because I don't have any other magic right now. Let me get a nice little <laughs> quick time event. Take his hammer. MY yeah. HAMMER, BITCH! <laughs> so when we kill them, we'll always get gold orbs. Gold orbs will give us good stuff, I guess. I don't know what gold orbs actually do. <laughs> it's just good. Maybe it just gives you a lot of... It, it just makes you feel better about yourself. It's right. It's just, oh, gold orbs! Yay. So nice! Thanks, game. I think what it is, it's just like, it's like red orbs, but more so. It's more yeah, red orbs, like red orbs. double the potency, I Ooh. think. So yeah, that's uh, my L1 and square attack for the lightning element, and it's nice. It can stun people. Doesn't okay, stun this guy that much, but but uh, but of well, course right now he's in, in invincible mode. So well, no, that's generally also how it works. Is when you there when you, you have those abilities, you stun people of a little bit lower level than you, not like the same or higher of like. Yeah, I don't know. right. Then that's pretty much the gist of it. Since he's so strong, he's not going to be stunned as easily. But it does some damage to him, and that's what that's what matters. You noticed, like, a, five minutes ago, I missed my quick time event with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had him down for the count, but I don't know, I screwed up. So we're just going to do a second round right here. This time I'm not going to screw up. There we go. And more gold and red. Yay, so. gold! Yay, gold. Yeah, you lost a little bit of health in that combat That there. first fight with those guys suck. I don't really like those guys. So this statue doing is the key to everything. I want okay. you to know that. I didn't know that. And so in the in this video and in the next video, there's a puzzle. and I'm, I, I had to cut it into two videos. I'm sorry. But it's just a pain. This, this puzzle was a pain in my ass. I didn't quite understand what to do. But, uh, is it like something you just jump on top of or something? More or less. That's the gist of it. But... I'm not, you know, because this is this puzzle. This it, the puzzle takes place in like three different rooms at that. Oh, and so, you have to use the same statue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just like, what? I got really frustrated. I was like, deliberately using magic spells just because I was so angry. I wanted to blow shit up. Like, yeah, it was, it was tough for me, but I got it. That's and you guys right. aren't gonna see any of my screw ups. That's <laughs> so. like, as far as you know, nothing happened. It nothing happened. I did this perfectly, one hundred percent, no mistakes ever. Just this is a clean cut walkthrough. Mm -hmm. Why would it be anything else? Well, it's Ray Siegel. I mean, right. what are you expecting? Uh, well, I'm expecting a locked door because that door was <laughs> locked. Can't get in there. That's some doors are locked, and even though you can. <laughs> Slay titans and gods and stuff. <laughs> you can't open up those locked doors. Don't Raymond. even try to open up a door. That's 
ridiculous. I'm looking for one day a game to actually address that, like, appropriately. Just, why? <laughs> why can't you open this up? Well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it, it doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't matter. What's, maybe... There's a glowy thing over here. Oh. To the tomes of the past oracle. So all those are tomes, tombs, tomb tombs. Tomb tomb tombs. You know the things in Skyrim with the oh, dragons. Oh, they're so they're okay. So they're past a... oracles that have died. Yeah. That we've killed, right? That's right. <laughs> no, we didn't kill them. Why would you look Ooh. a spiky floor? That looks like a nice little bed to lay down on. Don't lay on that. In fact, if you fall on that, you'll die. Oh. So don't. don't... Is it? It's like an instantaneous death, or can yeah. You... Okay. One uh, one hit and wonderful. you're dead. More snakes, but the snakes help us, do we? What? They're don't gonna, they come to life? No, they're gonna they're gonna help us. They're gonna help us jump, and then they're oh. gonna help us do this. Okay, you broke the snakes. I broke next. the snakes. I'm okay heads with off. that. Oh Jesus! Everything decays, and you gotta run before the spikes, you know, oh. reappear. Oh. Uh oh. And uh, you know, well, it wouldn't be so easy if the floor didn't crumble beneath you, do we? <laughs> Jeez. Well, that's 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 kind of nice. So when, wait, do we have that power? Uh, we do not have the ability to transform things ourselves. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's not a. Uh... It's not something that we can choose to do on our own. But we can break through doors and is avoid that, chests. Okay, is the, we broke the door because it was decayed. Right? Yes. If it wasn't decayed, we would not be able to bust Just through crash that. Crash into ah, it. Take that. <laughs> God damn it. No. We got some more orbs. Eventually, I think we're gonna we're gonna upgrade soon. Just don't know when. I don't know when I feel like upgrading. Yeah, sometimes you you sometimes you're just like I'm in the middle of combat and I feel kind of weak, so I'm yeah, gonna upgrade. that's that's actually when I upgrade things a lot. It's, it's actually gonna be pretty soon. I'm gonna get one more chest and then do some upgrading. I think so. Mm -hmm. There's more of that green mist from the snake's mouth. Mm. Gooey. How's it feel having a snake breathe on you? Does it feel good? Oh, that would be really creepy just to have like a big giant snake just sit there. Like. Ugh. Do. No? No. Fair enough. To each of their own. No, you still, I don't know if you saw, there was the manticores flying up from the ground when it was I decayed. Did you didn't see that? Well, no worries. I avoided them. Because they're not really a part of uh, anything useful. You don't like manticores? I don't necessarily like or dislike them. I hate any flying enemy in any game. Yeah. Um, but here's the here's upgrading. And so you know, I just avoid them if I don't have to fight them. Whatever. They, they would give you red orbs if you did murder them, but uh, figure out what we want to upgrade here. I think I'm going to go with the ice. I'm just scoping out. This This one has 1,700 more orbs, and I've got 9,000 orbs, so bam. That one's leveled up. Now we have the rage attack for the ice, you know. Ooh. Rage attack for fire. Yeah, once you now get, get the, the Yeah, you the get your meter. your meter filled up. 2,000 orbs on this. We're going to do the same thing. We get the rage attack for this one. And what the is rage that? attack is pretty freaking awesome for the uh, lightning one. You basically just start, you hold out your hand and you start zapping people. But <laughs> lightning is pretty sweet. And I'm not, I don't remember what the rage attack for Hades is. But how, I thought well, you said you liked Hades a lot. I do. Though. I just don't remember because it's just, I've played so much of this game. <laughs> and yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, ah, my brain is overloaded with games. So if you had to pick one element to level up all the way first, which one would it be? Uh, or do you well, suggest leveling them all up? I, I've done the fire first. The fire, I think, is all the way upgraded now. Pretty sure. That was so, the easiest one. To do, yeah, right? that's the easiest one to do because it only has three upgrade slots. The ice has four upgrade slots, and then the lightning and Hades has five. So and that's that's our L1 and triangle move there, the slammy <laughs> attack. So it's a nice, big, heavy slam with fire. I enjoy it. I so. do. I do like the fact that sometimes, when whenever you level up something, sometimes they'll just give you like one small enemy just to kind of test your ropes out on. Yeah, uh, and even when there's not an enemy to kill, I'll still I'll just you know do whatever I want to do. So. The reason I'm mainly avoiding these manticores is because the floor is crumbling, not because yeah. I don't want to fight them. I want to get that across. Can't bust through this door, old fashioned way. You have to actually hit R1. <laughs> Well, it's kind of tricky because it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just booted open. <laughs> That's what I do. Now you'll recognize this room, Dewey, from before. It's oh. the room that the dude got stabbed in the face in. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're here. We're on the floor, and we have to fight these stupid things. What are these? Things? They are some sort of spirit that has 
like sides attached to each of their arms. It's some, there's some sort of soul from the Hades realm of things. See. see, so how I connect a lot of these things, like how I how I know what a lot of these things are, is because a lot of times they're guild wars. Ah, there's the actual thing. It's uh, well, not any fire. You climbing down. I use whenever I get surrounded, I like to use the fire spell because it's a uh, good A O E attack. <laughs> as you nerds would call things. Um, when, when the things go underground like that, when they, they teach you this in God of War, they don't teach you this in this game. They, well, actually they do, it's right in the right hand corner of the game, I didn't even read that when I was playing this. When they're in the ground, you can hit R1 to grapple them and you'll rip them out of the ground. <laughs> so like, get, get the fuck out of the ground! It's my fight! You don't need to run away from me when I'm fighting you, that kind of thing, so... Pretty sweet. Slam it. <laughs> that poor thing just attached to your chain, <laughs> getting swung all over the place. <laughs> well, they deserve it, for being a jerk. Alright. So you want to focus on the two actual physical guys, the the, the spirits that they what's they the, make the they make the spirits, summon I guess. Um, you know they're there, they'll damage you, but you want to focus on the, the actual things that are making these things. So, so they're, they're like lesser minions. They're not yeah, do I'm as much trying to just trying to do the uh, the grapple attack on the actual guy. One of the freaking spirits got in the way, <laughs> like a jerk. Jeez. So, so you've got okay. There's still no spirits. So. Yeah, well, they keep summoning the spirits. There's not a set number of spirits. So oh, the spirits gotcha. keep coming until you kill the things that are summoning them. And there's things that are summoning them are just assholes. So uh, I think there's one left. They rip them out of the ground there. Come here. Yeah, get the heck out of that ground. What are you doing, girl? Here we go. Ooh, shit. Uh oh. Don't mess with me. I will take you. See, weapon. I think. The lesson learned here is not to face Kratos, um, because <laughs> most, all. a lot of times it's like you can just face someone and they'll just, uh, I don't know, they'll take your weapon or something and kill you with your weapon. Even if you don't have a weapon, Kratos will kill you with something that you possess, whether it be your <laughs> arm or something like that. So it's just, you know, just kind of leave Kratos alone, let him do his thing. So this is the first part of the puzzle. I already stepped on one of these little platforms that sink into the ground. This one, obviously, you'll need the full weight of the hourglass on there. Uh -huh. But this raises up both of the doors to the left and right. Uh -huh. The door on the left will close, and there's chests behind it. The door on the right opens up, and when it f closes again, it, does, it gets stuck. So that's oh, open. Okay. All you have to do is press, step on that once, refill your health, pull that lever on the left, right, like... Uh, Good job, uh, yeah. good job. Uh, and that turns on the green mist, do it. Ooh. Yeah, not the red mist. Not the not the like the villain in Kick Ass. Oh, yeah. Kick Ass Two. No, Kick Red Mist isn't in Kick Ass Two. Oh, that's unfortunate. He is, but he has a different name in Kick Ass Two. <laughs> I, I want to watch that movie, and I don't want to. I was like, I don't want to see anything about it. I don't, I don't, <laughs> Raymond's uh, blacklisted himself from pretty much Kick Ass Two. Pretty, I've seen one trailer, and that, that was all I needed. <laughs> so, everything is decayed because of the green mist, obviously. And this puzzle is, is was a pain in my ass. There's only one other puzzle that made me want to rip my hair out during this game so far. And uh, it was this one and a later one. And trust me, I'll talk about that one too when we get to it. <laughs> but rip down the thing. Climb this ledge. Climb it. Come on, Kratos. You, there you go. Go, go, yeah, no, go. Yeah, thank you. Who's a good boy? He's like, God, yeah, you are. Did I turn off the, the <laughs> burner today when I left home? He was thinking about what he did. <laughs> So then we're gonna need to obviously swing this thing into the hourglass. We can't because it's too high when everything is nice and pristine. We need to do it when everything it's is decayed. decayed. Oh right. God. So, so it's timed. It is a bit of a timed thing. You cannot, and here's the, there's the thing, you cannot go get to the green mist, climb up that wall, get onto the platform, and swing yourself before the time runs out. You can't do it. All right? There's something else you have to do. And if you remember, I was talking about that statue mm -hmm. in the other room being the key to everything. That's the, that's the key <laughs> oh, to everything. God. I'm not going to tell you how. You're going to have to wait for the next video before I tell you how that's the key to everything. Because uh, I want you to feel some of the frustration I had to feel. <laughs> <laughs> so this platform that I'm standing on has nothing to do with it. All that platform does is lower the giant circle in the middle of the room. But this is you trying to... But yeah, I was, I, I was trying to, you know, experiment a little, see what's what. Um, 
I went to the left because I hadn't gone to the left, and mm-hmm. I wanted to see if there's anything to the left. There's nothing. There's no chests over Aww. there. Sorry. But y'all have got to check. I'm going to yeah. keep reiterating that every time I do that in this friggin' video. Or videos, plural. Ooh. Yeah. But what you can do, you can't smash the thing with this. Mm-hmm. What you can do is jump on it. Oh, and in oh. fact, that's what you have to do. Now, Kratos isn't quite fat enough to get the thing to lower the whole way. <laughs> Maybe if he was one of those giant elephants or a cyclops, he'd be able to do it. Okay. But that's not the case right now. So, that's the end of this video. We're going to pick up this thing, Alethia's Charm. And then we'll see you guys in part 10. I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be the best game ever.